Taking soil samples is an essential part of data collection in scientific archaeology. These samples offer information about the consistency of the soil and allow researchers to characterise soil horizons. Using this knowledge, we can answer questions both about the present and the past. How did a soil landscape develop prior to human interference and how did people change the very soil they lived on? Fieldwork is the starting point of most pedological projects. Usually a soil profile is prepared to obtain insights into the different soil horizons. This allows researchers to decide at which depth sampling is useful in order to answer specific questions. Packed in sealed bags, the soil samples are brought from the site to the laboratory. There they are stored and prepared for analysis. Preparation usually involves drying and sifting the material. The samples also get lab numbers to ensure exact identification. To conduct trace analysis, the scientists usually have to grind the dried samples. Grinding can be done in what are known as planetary ball mills, which grind the sample into extremely fine particles. Once the samples have been prepared, various analyses can be carried out. One of the most common methods for studying soils and sediments is grain size analysis. The different sizes of grain and their relative numbers are typical markers of geological parent material and soils developed from them. There is a wide variety of other analyses that can be carried out on a soil sample. They all serve to provide information about the properties of a specific kind of soil. These properties affect how the soil is currently used. But additionally, knowing about them allows researchers to draw conclusions about soil use in the past. This makes soil a resource of central importance for our understanding of history as well as of present times.